Hello YouTube and all inhabited, this is NBE817 here with another video coming at you and today as you can see we are back in another Minecraft video and uh, before this video starts I just want to say if you do enjoy this tutorial video that I'm about to do please do leave a like, comment and consider subscribing to my channel because it really does help out a ton and again guys we are at 62 subscribers right now so if we could just get to 70 uh, by let's go for the end of september then i would just be so grateful for that Eight, 70 subscribers let's go guys please i'm just begging you but anyway um in this tutorial here uh if we go over here to this uh section in my world then uh, we actually have this flush piston door it's like a little flush piston door that is with the ground so if we press this button and stand on this block right here, then we will go into the ground and land on this slime block. And then if we want to get out, we just press this button. Then we get launched up, uh, up to here, and then we can uh, just go about our day. So this could also, so this could be like a secret entrance to your base if you manage to put like a redstone output to this button or something like that. And uh, today I am actually going to show you how to do that. So here is like a kind of naked design. This is like uh, what, what the design looks like. And you may be thinking, oh man, this looks so complicated. Trust me guys, it's not. If you're not good at redstone, that's completely fine because I am going to go for a block by block tutorial. So if you look at my inventory right now, what we are going to need is one slime block, five furnaces, four redstone torches, four sticky pistons, two redstone dust, uh, four repeaters, one, one uh, stone slab, a, a, a building block of your choice, so I just grabbed 64, a lever, 64 of another building block of your choice, and two buttons. So I am going to do this step by step. So let's take the first few materials that we're going to need. So these are the first few materials. We're going to need our sticky pistons, our slime blocks, our sandstone, our blue wool, our redstone dust, our four repeaters, and our redstone torches, and our buttons. So those are like the first materials. These are like the really major ones for right now. So, let, uh, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. You are also going to need a six or no, I always get this wrong. Eight? No, no, it's eight. Oops, okay. You're going to need a four by two area with the exception of this lever right here. The reason why this lever is here is because we need to redirect this redstone over to here. If this uh, redstone, if this uh, lever wasn't there and then we hit it, then it would not open up. So wait, let's just do that again. It would just, so if we just stand on the block and then do it, it just goes down one and then goes straight back up. So we need to have this lever here. So let me just put that back real quick. And uh, yeah, those are essentially all the materials that you are going to need. So we need a four by two area, again, with the exception of that lever. Uh, and then let's just get started. So uh, real quick, let's just kind of make an outline of our build so we can just put the blue wool inside here and then that should be it for your area. So we want to put a piston right here or right here, depending on like where you wanna actually put it. So we put a piston right here and then a slime block on top. So then we have a slime block on top and then what we want to do next is surround this part in like this little L shape and then put a block right there put a, another block right above that, and then we have our base done right here. Uh, and then also we need to put a block right there. Sorry about that. So uh, what we need to do here is if I remember correctly, we need to put a piece of redstone dust there, two repeaters, both of them set on three ticks delay, and then another repeater right here, I think, with three ticks delay. Sorry guys, I am trying to remember this, so if I start saying um a lot, then that's because I don't entirely remember, but uh, I will most likely be able to get through this. 
So then we want to put uh, the first building block of your choice. In my case, I have sandstone. So then uh, we want to put a piece, or we want to put a button on there. And uh, yeah, so we have the button there. And then we want to put our first redstone torch right there. And then as you can see, this piston will extend, that should happen. And then we want to put another redstone torch on the sandstone block and then uh the slime block will uh go back down so this is like the base done we have like the slime block launcher down so if we click this button then we will be launched into the air just like that so that is the slime block part done now we're going to need our furnaces so let's get the furnace part down so we want to put a furnace right here you're going to need five furnaces for this, by the way. You're going to want to put a furnace right there, a furnace right here, and these are just immovable blocks. So if you wanted to, you could put, say, terracotta or obsidian in these spots. It just needs to be immovable by pistons or it will not work. And actually, I made a mistake. You do not want a furnace there. So then we want to put another furnace right there. You can break the one over the slime block. Definitely don't want to put one there. Uh, and then, so we do have a furnace down there again, and uh, then we want to put a, another furnace again right there. So then we have this, and I am in creative mode currently, but I did count all the blocks that we will need, so we should be good. After that, we want to put blocks on all of these right here. So we, so we want to put blocks on top of all the furnaces, then we want to go up a top, and then put uh, blocks on all of them, including the one with the button. We didn't have to uh, last time because there was already a block there. And then as you can see, this is already shaping together quite well. All we have to do now is this top part. So let's come around here and let's put uh, a piece of blue wool right above this redstone torch. Then another redstone torch that should go out immediately as you put it down. Then another block up top. And then finally, one more redstone torch on top of there. Then take your blue wool again, and let's make a, uh, there's two blocks right in front of this redstone torch, another block as a base block, and then uh, put a block on top of that. You can then break this base block here, and then we want to take our repeater and put it right here, and it will start to glow, and then we want to put that on two ticks. We are now done with the repeaters, so we can get rid of those. We're also done with the, no, we're are we no yes we are done with the redstone torches uh let's bring the slab down we're done with the furnaces we are not done with that we're done with the slime and yeah so that's about all we are done with for right now so uh, next what we want to do is we want to take our uh pistons put one piston right there and then another piston right below it so you now have two pistons right there and they should both activate if you did it correctly then we want to put a piston another sticky piston on the bottom one uh, on the bottom piston right here so you put that down and then that should immediately extend as well and then now if we put a ground block on top and real quick let me just make a base for this real quick we can put a base down and then uh now for uh so we have we have finished the launching mechanism so let's press this button it should open up and then it will close right away so uh now we want to make the entrance so that we can go down so this actually isn't that hard again guys so if you are kind of nervous you don't really need to be because it is pretty simple so then we want to put a button right there next to uh the block that is moved by the pistons below to let you launch out you want to put a uh, button right there then right uh next to this redstone torch we want to put a slab sorry down here a slab right there uh so that it is right below like right to the side and below of this block and right next to this make sure that you can put redstone dust on it so here's where our redstone dust comes into play so you put the redstone dust down take out our block of choice our uh, blue wool 
And then we want to, and th guys, honestly, this can be any block that will redirect the redstone. It can be a lever, it can be more redstone, uh, and uh, yeah, it could be like another button, or it can really be anything. So then you put down the lever, and that is essentially it. So if we stand on this block, then we will be launched down. And uh, the only problem with this system, the only problem that I find is that when you launch up like this, uh, and then you go downward, sometimes you bounce on that and then it crushes you, which is the only thing. So uh, then you just want to hold shift. If you don't want to bounce on the slime block, you just hold shift as you're falling and then you will not bounce. So I guess that is essentially it for this tutorial. It was a nice quick and simple one pretty simple to make uh again it was not that hard sorry for you guys who were kind of stressing about it uh if this video tutorial did help you in any way shape or form please do leave a like comment and subscribe it helps out my channel a ton and uh yeah that's gonna be it uh, i hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time peace youtube